Hi everybody, Bjorn here with Progress on my droids and I'd like to show you the collision avoidance features that I've built in. My goal with this is right now um, to make it as hard as possible for a human operator to run him into obstacles. This is basically the first step to going into full, full autonomy later on. So, let me show you the features. What do we have here? Um, we have five ultrasound sensors around the skirt three pointing to the front. These are actually the only ones that I'm using right now. Um, and I have infrared distance sensors underneath each foot. Two here, one here, one in back, and on the other foot as well. And let's take a look at what those things say. I'll wake him up out of his screensaver. And um, as you can see, the joystick button is red right now because it doesn't have any connection. The Wiimote that I'm using isn't synced yet. Um, everything else is green. So let's take a look at the, what the ultrasound sensors say. You can maybe see the blue line, um, which is the center ultrasound sensor. If I put a hand before it and wave it back and forth, you see the distance going up and down. I think that's probably visible. Um, and so let's see how this works. First of all, I'll go back to the joystick display so you can see what it's doing. And I'll press the sync button on my Wii nunchuck. And that usually takes a while, a couple of seconds. And then, yep, there we go. You can see the curves here, accelerometer, which I'm not using right now, and the joystick, and the buttons. I have another safety measure, the Z button I'm using as a dead man switch. As long as this is not pressed, the droid doesn't do anything. So if I get into trouble, I just let go of everything and he stops immediately. Okay, now I'll press it and let him go back a bit. And now let's see about the collision avoidance. I'll just take him through the room a bit. You can see he's stopping in front of the cupboard immediately, um, immediately, automatically. I'll just hold my hand into the camera so you can see that I'm actually pressing the joystick as much forward as possible. And he's desperately trying to avoid collision with the object. And I'll turn him around a bit. He stay avoiding collision until he pushes the camera around. Do that again with tool here and with my legs and as you can see he's a bit standoffish I can even take a couple of steps forward and he'll just be driven back still holding down the joystick as much as it can go and he will avoid colliding with me of course this doesn't work with every obstacle for example, thin stuff such as the legs of this table here sometimes pose a bit of a problem, but that's okay. I'm kind of confident that the human operator will be able to avoid stuff like that. All right, let's stop here and I'll show you the infrared sensors underneath the feet when I take the droid upstairs. Butter.
added safety feature, the whole thing is very light. It's about 15 kilograms or 30 pounds. So even if all else fails and the collision avoidance fails catastrophically, 